Hi guys, this is Michelle Nicolaisen with Bombshell.com and to this week I am reviewing Sandglaze. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's S-A-N-D-G-L-A-Z. And it's a project management tool. They've got a free two-week trial and then after that I believe it's $9 uh, per person per month. So it's pretty reasonably priced. They don't have an app yet, but they do have a mobile version of the site that works across phones and tablets. So this is the default view that you see when you log in. It's the My Tasks view. You can see that it's pulled in tasks from different projects. So I put up one that was Bombshell and the one that was Test Project A just so that you could see that it does show you which uh, project the task is attached to. And you can use this kind of like uh, an inbox. So if you've got stuff that you want to get done this week or later, you can just you can as you're brainstorming, you can just type that here and then you can drag them and drop them onto a particular day. So it's got a nice interface. Those of you who have watched my other reviews know that I'm really big for me in particular on having a drag and drop interface, but also like a calendar interface. So this is nice because it's got the days and then it has the tasks laid out on them. For whatever reason, if I don't have that, I personally have the tendency to put way too many tasks on a day if it's not in sort of like a week layout like this. So it's a little bit Kanban-ish, but it's got some pretty powerful project management features too. I'm going to go to the project view now to show that to you. Oh wait, there's one more thing I did want to show you under my tasks. You can change the settings on this. So if there's a project that you need to keep an eye on but that you're not actually doing anything on, you can set it so that it doesn't include anything in there and then you can just check that project manually. Or you can uh, set it so that it's all tasks or just your tag tasks. So depending on your role, whether you're the project manager, project manager, the assistant, whatever, there's an option in there that's going to work for you and let you either keep an eye on the project or just like check in from time to time without getting overwhelmed and pulling too much stuff into my tasks. So project view. This is what it looks like on a project. Uh, you can see that it's categorized by important, less important, and then down here it shows completed. Uh, this is what it looks like when you zoom in on a task. You can add subtasks to the task and then you can drag and drop those particular subtasks as well. You can add notes here. Uh, you can tag people in the comments. You can choose a file from Dropbox. I think they might be adding uh, Google Drive integration as well. And then you can set the due date and set it to repeat. So you can see all of that information that I've got right here. Uh, and then you can see it's it's the same layout as the my tasks but it's in a week format so you can change the milestones by that's not how to change the milestones yes so you can change it so that it's one day at a time uh, or two weeks each of these columns is two weeks depending on what you need to view so this is for more of a top level view and then the my tasks gives you like day-to-day -day stuff so you can use the tags to categorize And so if you click on the tag, then it filters everything else out that's not that. And then just click on it again to remove it. Uh, you can assign it to users, which I can't do because I don't have any users in there. But it's a pretty simple thing. You just put at and then the username, and that's how you assign it to a user. Of course, all of this is drag and drop as well. So you can use this section to uh, add tasks as you think of them. And then as they actually become relevant, drag and drop it to a particular day. And one of the things that I really like about this view is that you can change the number of rows. So let's add it to two rows. And then you can see that it adds one by default that's important, less important, and not important. And you can also change them. So if you don't want to categorize by priority, you could do like, marketing, writing, and admin, and sort tasks, excuse me, sort tasks that way, or sort them uh, pretty much any other way you wanted to. But I think that that's a really interesting feature that's pretty helpful. So that's pretty much an overview of Santa Claus. Uh, I think it's really pretty full featured. I like that it's Kanban functionality and that it's visual that you can get kind of a top level view on this screen. It's going to show you what you need week by week. You can change it so that it's showing you month by month instead. 
or you know two weeks by two weeks and then for a day-to-day -day view you drill down here you can see the whole week at a time and you've got other stuff back here so I really like it it's very reasonably priced they've got a free trial can't hurt to check it out uh, give it a go and if you want more notes and commentary on this review you can find that at my site bombshell.com and other reviews as well thanks for watching have a great day